Hey guys, before we get into the video, I just want to stop and make a couple of announcements. Um, come Sunday, uh, tomorrow, there will not be an upload. I am going to be busy all day and I just won't have the time. No, not tomorrow. Uh, by the time you're seeing this video, um, yeah, actually it would be tomorrow. So Sunday, um, there won't be an upload. That's just because I'm going to be busy all day. Um, well, actually there won't be an episode Monday, Friday, there, a uh, Saturday, there will be an episode my, uh, fun Monday. There won't be an episode. I'm just going to be a bit preoccupied, uh, all day Sunday. I'm not going to have any time to record. I'm not going to be getting home until incredibly late. Um, so I just want to give you guys the heads up on that today and this episode. Um, also the subject matter in this episode is going to get a little like personal. Um, we're going to be dealing with some topics that personally I'm not. I'm nowhere near qualified to deal with. And in some ways, I also don't think, um, you know, it's responsible to like talk about these sorts of things um, without like being in a safe space. So if you if any of you, my uh, any of my viewers may not like, you know, feel comfortable with like, you know, suicide and things like that, I would implore you to reach out the necessary hotlines and you know, support networks to help you deal with that sort of thing, because we're going to go over some very uncomfortable subject matter in this game. And um, there's going to be a lot for me to talk about on this specific subject. So while the plot might not move very far because there's some things um, I remember I had a lot to say the first time I played this game when I got to this part. And I remember it very vividly because of certain aspects. Um, but yeah, let's just get into it without further ado. Cue the intro. Welcome back, guys. Um, if you saw the uh, intro at the start of the uh, video, uh, there's no reason for me to do a full intro. But um, yeah, as usual, if you guys are enjoying the playthrough, please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe for more, and let's get into this. So now we're on our way to get the Surf uh, HM because we just beat Samson, which means we can now use that. So that's going to be pretty good. Um, could be... Probably it's probably gonna be better to use than a uh, hydro pump, just because it's more reliable. But I guess it'll depend, right? But what matters more is, uh, I guess, getting out there. Huh? What the? Okay. I do, uh, I do like how it always feels like there's something to explore in this game. Post game is going to be quite a reward. Yeah, you know, a reward or frustrating. Honestly, I can never really tell. Maybe a bit of both. See if we can get this item. A blue shard. Yeah, all right, I'll take it. Oh, inky rock. Came down the wrong part. Uh, 
Oh wait, no. I'm supposed to go up here. Okay. Now it's time to get down to business. So you got the badge? Amari's out for a walk. I'll fetch the machine. It's a mess in the back, so I might take a while to find it. Just wait here. All right. All right. Straight up. I'm going to be transparent. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be like up, up front with you guys. Um, the first time I played this, something really stupid happens here. Um, you're going to be given a choice to read that diary. But I, I'll just explain more when we get to that point. Belle, you're back. Where's Tanya? Ah, she's getting the surf, right? Maybe this is a good time to relay what I found then. Or what I haven't found, really. I started to look into Tita Twin, and it's all coming up zeros. Aside from what's going on in the gate and Labrador, there haven't been any reports of suspicious individuals around here. And apparently the road to Amateur City is all but completely blocked off somehow. I don't think this played out this way the first time I played this game. I went down to talk to the folks at a gate circus, and from the sound of things, Tita Twin is supposedly very nearby indeed. I just can't shake the feeling. I keep thinking, what if it's closer than I, I want to admit? Lies and deceit right in front of my eyes that I chose to stay blind to. Tanya can be distant to the point of evasiveness, and it isn't odd how adamant she is going against, uh, how adamant she is against us going and in, getting involved with Team Meteor. Plus, there's the name. I haven't asked her directly because if she knows we're onto her, that could be problematic. But I don't even know what I would do if it turned out to be her. If only there were some way to. Hmm. What's this? Okay, yeah, this is all right. All right, all right. Never mind. False alarm. Thank you. Oh my god. They probably they probably realized like I was exploding because the first. All right. So I'm gonna explain what happens. Um, in the last version of this game, when you get to this point, um, Amaria doesn't show up right away. She's upstairs. Um, Tanya, uh, Titania walks away, and you're just standing there. You have the option to read that diary. If you read the diary, Titania will ask you if you read it. If you lie to her, she accuses you of lying, right? But because the game gives you the option, you actually could not read it. Like, you could completely miss it. But the game still acts as though you read it completely. Like, she will still accuse you of being a liar and everything spirals out of control. There's, There was literally no benefit to just not reading it. And I didn't read it. So... I have no, even to this day, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to read it. I have no idea. Oh, uh, actually, I do think I may have read it after the fact, but I know for sure before everything happened, I didn't read it. And it was like, it blew my mind that things were happening the way it did. I was like, what the fuck? I, I didn't read it. So yeah, it was one of those telltale games, like bad game design things, but thankfully they fixed it. So that's good. Anyways, let's get back. What's this? This is her writing. Lying to her. Imprisoned by her own secrets. Fake fairy tale romance. Here is promise. What are you doing? Are you two reading through my journal? I mean, I... I guess we are at this point. That's personal writing. Stay out of it. Both of you. Tanya, what is all this? It's just notes for a story. Not that it's any of your business. Oh, so it's just a story. That's good. So all this about lying to her and only pretending to love her, it's for a character. Right, of course. Hey, Tanya, does the name Tita, tw uh, Tita Twin mean anything to you? Tita Twin, they could have they could have really done a better name than that. No, why? No reason. I was just curious. How about what um, about what it looked like when you lie? Excuse me? I get it now. You never really loved me, did you? What are you talking about? Are we really going to go over all this again? How many times have we had this conversation? How many times have you lied to me? What? Go on, give me a number. Will you tell me you have always been honest? Can you tell me uh, can you really look me in the eyes and say that to me? I knew it. 
<laughs> and here I've been drinking up every single thing you've ever told me. And even when I thought I knew better, I let myself, uh, I let myself believe it because I couldn't stand to tear myself away from you. I loved you. I still love you so much. I don't know who I am without you. Stop. When we were together, it felt like we were always picking up the pieces of my heart, all made of glass and gently placing them back together. I said stop, and now it's just shattered again. Amari, seriously? Amy. <sighs> Come on, let's go after her. She obviously wants us to. Okay, yes, thank you. This scene played out way better than it. Oh my God, the music. The music changed. Oh my, oh my God, bro. Oh my God, the music changed. Oh my God. That music we were just listening to, the first time you play this game, when you get to this scene, it's nothing but, and I'm sorry, I'm ruining the tension, but it was nothing but fucking happy times, happy-go-lucky, mood whiplash, like, the freaking game. It was insanely out of place. So I'm happy they fixed it. For something more ominous and, like, sad. Come here to lie to my face some more. What do you even want me to say here? I want you to tell me the truth. What truth? I don't know what it is you're expecting to hear. Why don't we start with Tita Twin? I have no idea what that even is. I bet. Belle knows what I'm getting at. Literally, what are you talking about? You're being ridiculous. Belle, you know she's in the wrong here, don't you? I mean, we are really jumping to some, some conclusions. So I'm going to say yes. See? You can lie all you want, but we both know all about your betrayal. Wait. Oh, shit. She was asking me that. Oh, no, 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 no. That's wrong. All right. Hold up. Let me. I got to. I got to reset. Give me one second. All right. We got back to the right choice. All right. But you know she's in the wrong here, don't you? No. What are you hoping to accomplish by dragging a third party into this? This is what I wanted to say. I don't. I think we're still being a little bit overzealous with this. I'm trying to hold you accountable for this betrayal. What betrayal? We know you're working with Team Meteor. Okay, there's been a misunderstanding. I've been giving them false information to keep them from finding you. If that's what this is all about, we can all relax and go home. Wait, what? So she actually has had a line of communication with Team Meteor? Then why all the secrecy? Why all the comments and about lying, the defensiveness, the so cold silence? I love you so much and I would accept anything you ever shared with me. So why don't you? Because you don't love me. It's not that simple. You don't love me the way I love you. That's probably accurate. Tell me I'm wrong. That's what I thought. I don't care about you any... Ugh. I don't care about you. I care about you more than anyone else in the entire world. But you don't love me. You were only pretending to. I couldn't stand the thought of you doing something. Of you hurting yourself. Just because I wasn't able to return your feelings properly. If I had a choice, I would in a heartbeat. At the time, when it first became official, I thought I shouldn't let my own lack of emotions get in the way of your happiness. I thought if I stuck with you and really devoted myself to you, maybe you'd get better. Or maybe I, started to, I, I would start to feel it properly. I just had to keep things stable until then. And I see that worked out great. I wish it had. I'm sorry. I don't want you to apologize for your feelings or lack thereof. I want you to apologize for lying. For years, all for all that is holy, lying all of the uh, lying all of this time. Yeah. I mean, I think her heart's in the right place, right? But it's also like, you know, the road the road to hell and whatnot is paved in good intentions. This was not something that was sustainable um in the long run because I don't think she recognized that Amaria generally viewed her as like a cr uh, like she, it, i don't think she recognized that she was a crutch or she would become a crutch for amaria's happiness as opposed to being like the catalyst for it because like if she's just the catalyst like the jumping off point once amaria takes flight and is able to stand on her own two feet she won't necessarily need um titania to like ground herself and like uh, from her depression but that's not what happened and it's she ended up you know trapping herself in a situation where it's like 
this person's clearly not becoming mentally, you know, well-rounded as a result of my decision. And in fact, I think my decision has made it worse because now I'm not really happy anymore. And yeah, it is really sad when you recontextualize it. And thank you so much, Dev Team, for rewriting this. This is so much better than it was the first time. The first time I saw this scene, I was like, what the fuck just happened, bro? I didn't... If you don't read that diary, it is really like, what the fuck? And I did it. So I had no idea what was happening. Like, for years, for all that is holy, lying all of this time. How many times have we kissed? How many times were you doing that just for my sake? I don't think you want me to answer that. I, I mean, I wouldn't phrase it like that. You're, you're like, she's already on the edge and you're definitely not making it better. Right. I bet. And you assured me otherwise, how many times? All just out of what? Pity? Not pity. I thought it was compassion, but I know it was misguided. You were my world. I guess I just, I was just your prison. Well, it's okay. I can set you free now. I didn't want you to do something stupid just because of me. Just because I'm cold hearted and made a mistake and the cost sunk my, uh, sunk the cost sunk more every day. Okay, you're not cold hearted. If you were cold hearted, we wouldn't be in this situation. I'm just saying that you're not cold hearted. Like, you're, you probably are very short sighted though. You didn't really think this all the way through and how sustainable this actually was gonna end up being. You know, but you're not cold hearted. What was I supposed to do? I thought if I told you or even if I just rejected you in the first place that you would go over the deep end. I mean, here we are but to be fair that could be a natural extension of the fact that it festered this long it only becomes a big of a, it becomes a bigger of a problem the longer it you know she thinks it isn't an issue you're basically ripping her whole world from right right from under her by doing this which you know like i said i don't really think she thought this all the way through well maybe you were right maybe don't say that right near the edge come on amy wait and she did jump but I knew that already. Bell. I'm going after her. But I don't have a I don't have a I don't have a way back up. Figure it out. Yeah. I'll see you just three gym badges later. But I promise to come back, maybe. Like I don't know when I actually get waterfall. It's gonna be a while. I know we have to beat Charlotte first, at least. That's the next gym leader. Charlotte and Seal. No, Charlotte, Tara, then Seal. Is it? I think that's the order it is. I can't remember. All I know is it'll be a minute before we can get it. What the hell? What's going on over here? Famous Rainbow Challenge. Now better than ever before anywhere else. What is this? Trainer, are you ready to take the rain cha rainbow challenge? Face off against our multicolored dream team in the ring and win yourself something. Right here. Oh shit. Oh. Hidden power electric? Cafe wall. Oh my god, oh like crit. Why would you hard switch into a grass type? Is it no sucker punch? No. You shine now. I feel like this Pokemon deserves to be a fairy type. I, I guess Rejuvenation agrees with me because they did make it a fairly type in that game. Alright, Haxorus, fuck him up. Oh, fuck. I knew he had it too! And I clicked Outrage. Oh, that was just not my best hour. Probably dead, yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Many battles you can get in this will be helpful or worthwhile for you. I mean, I'm definitely not satisfied, but I need to go heal if we're going to try again. Yeah. This part of the game, uh, I, I, I am very happy for it, them like actually rewriting it because it was really bad the first time, but it's a lot, lot better now. I like it. Can I read the diary actually? Doesn't look like it. Oh yes, I can. Looks like a collection of notes. Partner in a, uh, partners in a fake fairy tale romance, living domestic to appease curses, possessed by a spirit before the prologue, lead lying to her to spare her. The real challenge is not rescuing the princess, but living with her. Parallel to the circumstances of pretending to love her, becomes imprisoned by her own secrets. Needs some kind of physical metaphor. Still unhealing wounds. Reverse wood puppet. Searching for a counter curse that doesn't exist. The only way out is to let her go. Damn. It's that bad she had to write about it so vividly. She's definitely projecting through that, like. Probably not a good idea to just leave that lying around. Oh well. Oh. I just got rocked to him. All right, fair enough, I guess. What's this clown doing over here? Quash. This random clown in the corner? What the fuck? Giga brained, I guess. Citrine Mountain. I have no idea where to go. Bird might. Gold dark. Wishy washy. excited I have no idea why that excited me for a second like I haven't already used that Pokemon there we go what is this is this a lucky egg I hope so that's the heat rock I already have that iron ball Oval stone. All right. I guess I'm not. It was obvious I wasn't going to find something as busted as a lucky egg. I didn't do that right. Plate. That's a good item. Can't go wrong with the hard scale. Can't go wrong with two. Please. 
This weasel really said I can't run away. Oh, I can get away, Lord. Let's see. Might as well check and see what Pokemon are available. Pre-Charlotte. That's where we are right now. Last time we checked it was pretty Luna, so we could be looking at something good. Uh Oh, a fairy was available. Artillery, some land it, steal it, judge it gone. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. Oh, Gligar. Gligar might be a good one. Do I have the ability to evolve it though? Because I know it needs like the Reaper, uh, Reaper Fang, right? Bliss 4. That Lando typing could come in handy. I have a toxic orb though? Probably. I don't think I do. Gligar is definitely the most interesting Pokemon. Starly. Those are the two most interesting options I get access to. Um, Gliscor. Could probably see myself sidelining Crocodile for Gliscor though. This is, I think Gliscor's ground flying typing is way better than Crocodile's dark ground typing. Like, ground flying is an insanely strong typing. Like, it's true it's got a four time weakness to ice, but it's just about resistant to pretty much everything else in some way. Oh, shite. Cannot dive. For I not have it. Lumineon. This Pokemon's kind of lame. Like, completely. Nothing. Can't use Waterfall. Thank you for healing my emperor. <laughs> Star Raptor's an intimidator though. Hmm. Oh, there's Aya. Okay. Um, then what's over here before we go talk to her? Oh. Sky drop. What? Can they have my Pokemon learn this? I don't think they can. No. Okay. Eh, nothing that great. Oops. Frostlass! Although I have Gengar, so, you know. This feels so cute. Oh, Belle! You caught up with us quickly! 
Yo. Hey, girl. Hey. So you know how I said I see how far I could get on my way to Emmetrine? Well, looking at it, as you can see, it's totally on ice, so to speak. So Emmetrine snow. Oh, excuse me. So Emmetrine is a snowy city, right? Almost unfailingly, being on the tallest mountain peak in the region will do that to you. So just out of curiosity, how do they get food up there? Wait, what do you mean? Well, it's too cold to grow anything, so I assume they import it. But if there's no road there, wait, you think they're locked in, locked in without supplies? I don't know. It's just a thought. All the more reason to bust through. Giggle it. Aight, giggle it. Let's tear through that ice. One, a two, one, two, three, four. That did absolutely nothing. Not even a dent. Yo, for real? If Gigalith can't scratch this light, there's no way anything will. What is this stuff made of? Um, ice? Oh yeah. Nah, that's weird, isn't it? It's shaped weird, harder and thicker than normal and doesn't break. Yeah, something's off. There's a fucking pulse in there. I don't know, think even a fire type would get through this. Trust me, I know all there is some new that, uh, things that are thick and hard. Hey, you wanna try and... I'm gonna rip out both of my eardrums. <laughs> Gigalith, return. Giving up? Hell no. We're gonna find another way. Let's get some help from Celestinon. The other leaders are up there fighting the team, me team Meteor, but maybe some of them can lend a hand. Is it far? I'm not exactly used to the mountain hikes like this. Not at all. In fact, it's just right around the corner. We'll slip through, uh, we'll slip through up here, cash in on some of the assistance, and be back by the end of the set. Sure, whatever. Let's just go. Okay. Feel. Route 3. Here's Bell. Great. So let's not just right through these stairs, so let's not waste any time. Yep, there's people counting on us. And holy crap. Whoa. Kane, are you alright? Fine. Yeah, fine. That, that laser blast just barely missed me. Haiti, you do care. What? Don't be stupid. That attack came from right over Labrador City. Something's going down. Forget that. Something's coming down, too. Is everyone all right? All clear here, if, if barely. What's the sitch? Team Meteor has occupied Labrador City and is using pulse machines to control the area. We heard about the pulse Mr. Mime on the news and came to help. That's not the problem anymore. Another one. What is that? Pulse Clawitzer. They're sieging Celestinon from afar. I'm doing my best to deflect the attacks, but they're gotta land somewhere. Sorry for the collateral damage. No big deal. I just saw my life flash before my eyes. So I'm guessing that was like watching a split second porno. What the fuck? The dialogue was slightly better. Can we not? Yeah, like what the fuck kind of analogy was that? What? I'm getting back to it. If you need to get into the city, use the eastern entrance. So much for right around the corner. No sweat. No sweat. Route 3 used to be tough, but the cities of Celestin on a Labrador spent a lot of time bridging it up for smooth road. It'll be a straight shot, no problem. Let's roll. This is not going to be a straight shot, is it? Hey, is he good down there? Hang on, mate. Hardy Kane. Yep. Are you both alright? Ugh. I'm good. Splitting headache, though? That rail hurts. We're solid, but give me a minute. Jeez, first terror and now you slam into the rail. You've really taken a beating. And not in a good way. There's a good way to get beat? I'll have to show you sometime. Don't you dare. Sorry, sis. Didn't mean to make you jealous. I'm not jealous. You, all right, y'all. Can we focus, please? I hope you get crushed under the bridge next time. Aya, you can drop the cinder act. Whoa, take it easy there. Look, we're fine. Even though one of us stray, uh, one of those stray blasts took the bridge out while we're on it, we're all still in one piece. Let's get through this. So much for a straight shot. No worries, we got this. But because I've seen Meteor, this area does seem to be a bit more dangerous. Aye, let's stay close and move quickly. Bell, take care of Aya for me, will you? I can take care of myself. Of course you can. Aye, then Aya, take care of Bell for me. We'll go on ahead. Peace. Catch up with us as soon as you can. And don't worry. I'll be gentle with your boyfriend. He's not my boyfriend. Wait, just what are you planning to do to him? Ugh. So I'm with you, huh? Sorry, I didn't mean for that to sound mean. 
Look, I'll try not to bother you too much. Let's just go find them, okay? You can at least sound like you give a damn about my well-being. You know what, just for that, I'm gonna make your ass follow me while I do shit. Yeah. What the hell? Oh, the ice rock. I think. Amplified rock. Okay. Wait, what the? Oh, what? I couldn't even fucking tell I could walk here. Damn it. That plate actually would I think that would have been a zap plate. Wait, I think I already have a zap plate. Hold up. Hmm. Well, it was yellow, so I presume it was the zap plate. Jeez. Well, okay, just cave in on me then, because... Damn. Something's going on here. LCC Metal Coat Are we coming up on Scizor? No, I don't think we are We are coming up on Torterra Which, you know, I do have two of the three Sinnoh starters So Maybe that's something I should probably look into So, Torterra isn't exactly like a crazy Pokemon. It's far from a bad one, I guess. Oh, it's just an Everstone. Okay. Wasteland Punk Aya. Again, huh? If this bridge only just went down, then the other probably got across safely, which means we'll, he uh, we'll be even further behind. Great. I mean, flying type Pokemon exists, but apparently not in this game. Holy shit, a shiny Kangaskhan. I'll oh, chill. Hmm. I oh, that was the Kangaskhan. Oh, she didn't attack. Bet. I'll be mega kanging people in style. Hey, what are these going to do? I don't like these. I actually don't know what they are either. Oh shit. Okay, never mind. What is this? What the hell is that? I've never seen that before. Dawnstone. This is a good one.
Well, Ice Stone and a Dawn Stone. Okay. Someone's actually came. I'll be surprised. Go no further, vile doer of injustice. What the fuck you just say to me? Vile doer of injustice. Listen here. Of course, it did exactly nothing but kill itself. Bara Baracle. No flinching. Fuck. Dust clubs. Oh no, it has pressure. And I'm like, I don't get flash cannon until after Titania, which is a long time from now. Oh fuck, magnet pool. Things. Heart scale. Those are always good. Nope. Smooth rock. Money. Ice stone. LCC. I thought this was supposed to be just a random cave. I mean. Wait, what? Where did we come out of? No. Probably making this playthrough go a lot longer stopping to do this every. I don't need the elbow stone. But you can get some really good items if you do this stuff, so it's also kind of in my best interest. I have a hacker, so God damn it. I hate that her hydro pump hits, but mine's misses. That's just Bullshit. Let me see if I can. Oh, I know. I, I can't actually go that way. Okay, I was going the right way. Are we actually going to run up on them, though? I mean, uh, honestly, I could probably do it. Gotcha. We have a post to protect, so back off. Uh, fuck. I basically took offense to that. Man. 
put my emperor to sleep like that. Pokemon is obviously going to eat that up. We'll never get you, will we? No. You all are free and you just haven't realized it yet. Random ass Pokeball this way out. Alright, hold up. I thought I was about to get freaking Pokemon Empire and just die outright. Yeah. I kind of did a lot of damage. Holy crap. Wait, why does she have a lichen rock? Damn it. I didn't do shit. Oh, fuck. Maybe hit it with something that doesn't increase its defense. Shot in the dark. Oh, my special attack is dead. No, I'm probably on still a while. Get out of here. And do anything, Aya. What are you doing? There we go. Just don't say I didn't warn you. Shut your ass up. You know what? Much as I want to do it, I got shit to do. So let's just keep going. We're totally off track and there's no sign of like Hardy or Kane. Where even are we? Oh good, it's you, Eclipse, huh? Well, well. Look who shut up. Hey, Grunt. Go call for backup. Tell him we got a good catch down here. Is it that? Re is that really necessary? I know what you mean, Eclipse. We'll pound these guys to the ground ourselves. I don't think you know what I mean at all. Let's get this over with. All right, these two. Kind of always forget their characters. The Golark. Ah. 
No. Jeez, that's a, some damage. I lost my boost, but at least I put one up in the first place, I guess. What the fuck? Like five different field effects just happened. No flinches. Ugh. Yeah, that's dead. Bro, I haven't gotten a turn in what? Three turns? saw that coming. You know, Empoleon, you can at least try to help. God damn it. I have literally not hit a single, like, meaningful attack in, like, five turns. God damn it. Damn, y'all still got Pokemon? Do they have six Pokemon apiece? That's the only way they have this many Pokemon. Bro, he flinched us both. Come on. Damn it, Eclipse. Are you even trying? Not really, no. I'm done. You win. Don't give up. We fight to the end for Team Meteor. I'm not giving up. I'm quitting. You what? And look, I'll even power off the Pulse Clawwitzer for you. Here. Clawwitzer system offline. That's what you wanted, right? That's why you came here. Uh, about that, we just got lost and wandered in here. Oh. Well, that's what I wanted. So thanks for wandering in. Because what the hell do you think you're doing? I literally just said like three different times. Were you not listening or are you actually that stupid? Wait, Eclipse, why? I thought we were going to change the world together. Yeah, I'm backing out on that. This isn't the change I wanted. Since we joined, we've done nothing but help Team Meteor hurt more and more people. But in the end, this isn't worth the end. What good is a new world if the people we care about aren't in it? I don't understand. Yeah, you don't. You never had a family. You grew up on the street and the only one you ever had to look out for was yourself. That's kind of messed up. That's not a luxury everyone has. Team Meteor gave me a home. I will repay them with my life. Great. Do it. I don't care. My father lives in Celestinon City. If one of the Clauser attacks hits his house, that's it. Game over. End of the line. We were assigned to guard the power station for it, but I can't just sit there and let bite my nails wondering if the last blast did him in. Did him in what? And I'm pretty sure I've actually lost IQ points from being partnered with you. Uh, so, Bell, do we just let these two duke it out, or... Sorry for the trouble. Look, if you're gonna fight Team Meteor, there's something you should know. Team Meteor itself wasn't always bad. When Solaris led us, we had one strict goal. Cleanse the city. We wanted Reborn to be pure again, but the people had to leave for that to happen. 
So we started doing things to make them leave, but then everything changed. Even before Lynn started shooting through their ranks, serious Eclipse. Good girls should know their place and stay in it, or it will make itself known to them. Oh my God, what's happened to her? Didn't you know? Chandelier's flames burn away at the soul. The body remains even after the spirit is lost forever. Done. Why would you do that? Stone must be cut to be shaped. People are the same. And sometimes, should the stone break, it must simply be thrown away. Now for the next target. Bell, get out of the way. Fine, I'll take you instead. Ow, ow, ow. Let go of me. You have friends headed to Celestinon, correct? Change of plans. You'll make a fine hostage. Let's move. Aster, destroy the exit. I'm not leaving Eclipse. Do whatever you want with the traitor. She's already gone. Team Meteor, retreat. Man, that. You know. God damn it. Whatever. And nothing of important value was lost. Okay. Well, on the bright side, it looks like we're making our way. How the fuck you sent out a Snorlax? Holy shit. Oh! Mm-hmm. Hmm. I don't know. What is this? Something glimmers in the cinders of the tramp fire, but it's impossible to pull out. Perhaps a spark would draw it out. I really like the way this place looks. I love this little spot right here. This spot is so good. Yeah. I think I'm going to end the episode here, guys. It's my favorite spot in Pokemon Reborn. If you guys are enjoying the playthrough, please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe for more. And have a good one. Take care and bye.